So this is what comes in the package. You've got the cable, which is an OBD2 connector to a USB. And you get a disc, which will contain the drivers on. You will also need a laptop. Now remember, the copy of VCDS license will save to this individual laptop. You can transfer it over to two computers, um, but you need to remember that it will actually register on this laptop only. So this is the cable that I bought last year for use with a 2002 VW Polo. As you can see, it's no longer available to buy. But if we search for it, should come up with the same thing. So this one here looks to be the same cable. And it shows the list of vehicles that it's compatible with there. So we're now on the Rostec website and as you can see the products that they offer are VCDS, VCDS Mobile and VCDS Lite. So VCDS, that's to use with their official cable that they sell and VCDS Lite is to be used with knockoff cables basically what we've bought off Amazon. So you want to go ahead and download VCDS Lite. Download. Download. And install. Once you've done that, run the software and this is what it looks like. Go ahead now and plug in your cable that you've bought from Amazon. Go ahead and plug in your new cable into the USB port. So go ahead and enter the disk that came with the cable. This contains the drivers to make the cable pick up with the laptop and work. So we're now back on the computer and we need to make sure that the computer's picking up the cable in the device manager. So go ahead and open the device manager and it should come up under ports. Click that and the computer is picking it up as USB serial port COM5. What I'm going to do is uninstall this to show you what would happen if the computer didn't automatically recognize the cable. So if you had a orange triangle here, what you would need to do is right click it and click update drivers. Then you want to browse my computer and you want to select your disk drive which contains the drivers and you want to select your correct operating system so if you've got Windows Vista, Windows 7 or Windows XP. If you've got Windows 8 go ahead and select the Windows 7 drivers. Next and then what will happen is it will install the drivers and it will give you this screen and that should say USB serial port COM6 or COM1 depends on which USB port you have plugged in. So make sure your computer is picking up the cable. It's this one here, USB serial port. Now it says COM2. That may say something different. Originally it said COM port 10. So to change this, go into properties, port settings, advanced, and you can change the number here. 
So COM port 2, OK. Make sure that says COM2. Then on the VCDS software, select COM2. Plug it into the car and hit test. So obviously mine's not plugged into the car at the moment, so it says not found, but the port status is OK. So that's how you successfully install the cable ready to use with the VCDS software. Remember, you will have to register your cable with the VCDS Lite and that costs around £90. So if you click about, you notice it says serial number and it says to please test on a car before registering. So if you go back, options, plug the cable into the car and hit test. Obviously I'm on my computer at the moment so I've not got it plugged into the car. But this will come up with a message to say that the test is complete. And once you've done that, you'll get a serial number come up here. So this serial number basically says that the cable works with the car and that you can use this serial number to register with ROS Tech. It takes 24 hours to go through and once it's completed this part here where it says unregistered software will change to a green message that says registered. So I'm now on the ROS Tech website and I'm going to show you how to register your VCDS Lite software. You have to do this if you want to use the software, otherwise it won't work. So go to products, scroll down to VCDS Lite, click on fully registered and scroll down to this bottom part where it says dumb or non dongle all other interfaces. So we downloaded the software. We have the serial number for our cable. What we need to do is go to the store to purchase a license. Scroll down to VCDS Lite. So you can see here the professional kit costs between $200 up to a thousand dollars you want to click VCDS light scroll down quantity one so this is where we enter the serial number for our cable now make sure that this is correct go ahead and pay for the software and that will update within I believe 24 hours and you should then get a message like this. So within 24 hours you'll get an email back from Rostec. It will have all your serial numbers and your license agreements. Do remember that this cable and this serial number will register to this computer alone. You can change it with Rostec up to two computers. So if you were to break your laptop you will be able to transfer the license over to the new laptop but you can only do it twice thank you for watching hopefully this has been helpful